Welcome to This Is Important, a production of iHeartRadio, the show where we talk about what's obviously most critically, crucially important. Today on This Is Important. Four dudes at home and they work there too. All right, mate, you got any jimmy caps? Hey, yeah, I think we've all had a pocket rocker from time to time. And he's runner up for best video this week. Be sure and vote. Strap in. I love, we always clap. Oh, man. Hey, we sh- finish oh, me. friendship. What's friendship. up, my best friends? Mm. Hey, best friend. My motherfucking best friends. What's up, best friends? You're my best friend. Uh. My best friend. Uh. My best friend. My best friend. Uh. My motherfucking best friend. Oh, he's my oh. best friend. I wish That's I had my, my tambourine friend. for this. He Ooh. is yeah. my best friend. Uh. Oh, yeah. we got, that's great. <laughs> Remix. Megan the Stallion comes in. Do you think Megan the Stallion stole that from us? Do you think she works for SNL? Heard our other bits and she was like, these guys are on to something. And right. then took that bit from us from an old sketch that we made more yes. than 15 yeah. years ago. Yeah, 100% she did. Absolutely. 100%. She used to be Megan, Megan the Comedian. She oh. did. And then just changed some letters. Yes, I remember that. She was very okay. funny too. Mm-hmm. Megan the comedian. Hey, have, we ever, <laughs> That's not bad. That's have we ever played uh, the best friends track on the pod? Should we like throw to it and come back, play it for the people? Yeah, yeah. Let's yeah, play. Okay. okay. Well, early, yeah. early music for y'all. Yeah. If you're waking up, here's some music for this one's y'all. For all the best friends out there, hop in the shower. If you're waking up, or if, even if it's even if it's in the afternoon, or even yeah. if oh, it's yeah. maybe post workout, whatever you're doing, we feel. Right. Uh, you know, you should think about your best friends. And after this, if you're not currently like living with your best friends and seeing them all the time, right. give, them, give them a shout. Give them a call. Yeah, give That's them a what call I love order. about this podcast. I get to see my best friends all the time. Okay, roll that beautiful bean footage, Blake. Even if it's at midnight, have fun. fond memories of that song it's given us a, a a lot of mileage we've performed it on 
uh, we, Conan, Conan O'Brien. Yes. We did. Well, yes. Conan played the guitar for it on Conan O'Brien. Can we O'Brien. do this? Oh. I almost did this on Instagram yesterday, and then I just got busy and forgot. But like a Conan O'Brien appreciation day. Yes. Mm. Okay. We should. Holy we fucking should. shit. Into Conan it. Conan O'Brien. Into it. Yeah. He's like, the best. The absolute man. Well, he he was the very first person that gave us a shot on uh, Late Night. The first ones that... Is that yeah. right? Yeah. But I'm not even talking about like associated to us and like the favors he's done for us. I'm talking about like this dude wrote on SNL way back mm-hmm. in the day, influencing us in ways we didn't even know. Right. Then writing right. on The Simpsons. I wasn't I a it. huge Simpsons guy, but I respect okay. the fuck out of the show. Mm-hmm. And then okay. his talk show fucking blew... My mind, I watched it every night in high school and college. Unfucking real. Yeah, the dude is great. Yes. I would stay up very late to watch his show just because, like, the sketches were so right. insane. And also, I felt like the guests that would come on knew that you could get really wild. And that was what was cool about us going on his show is, right. you know, he allowed us to do whatever the hell we want. We did Wizards there. We did Best Friends. <laughs> I showed, yeah. I actually showed Chloe the Wizard clip not too terribly long ago because I was telling because she like honestly really likes the wizards. The wizards is uh, they're it's not us, but it's our friends from an alternate uh yeah. realm. We, I, think we, yes. I think we have mentioned them before, but yeah, they're not us. Yeah, that they've opened a portal and they kind of look similar to us if you look Homies. in the eyes and look well, past the beards. But yeah. uh yeah, there's yeah. similar vibes to us. If you look past the elastic straps holding the beards <laughs> up. <laughs> yeah, if you look past that, it might look similar to us, but it's but not they're not us. And I showed Chloe the album. She loved it. And then I was like, yeah, when we did it on Conan, just said it briefly. And she was like, say what now? And I played her that clip. And she was mm-hmm. like, holy shit. This is absolutely insane. We had dancers. She was like, you guys were super famous rappers? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And I said, no, it wasn't us. It was the Wizards. Well, one of the coolest things about that performance is we asked Conan if we could have like a flame-throwing dragon. And they were like, "Yes, we're going to see if that's possible. <laughs> And sure right. enough, watch the clip. It was a reality. It was awesome. Yeah. And he like, didn't he say the guys from Workaholics last minute couldn't be here? Yeah. Because <laughs> yeah. we couldn't. It was because yeah. we couldn't be there. Because and so our couldn't. friends. Yeah. yeah. And so yeah. our friends had to come in from the alternate universe and, and do the song. I yeah. still think one of our greatest ideas that we haven't done yet, but we, it's still on the table, is mm-hmm. asking the Wizards to do a op- Up in Smoke-esque type of uh, hip-hop tour. It would be mm-hmm. very cool, a stage yes. show with the Wizards. So mm. the Up and Smoke tour was like several different acts, right? Like yes, different was, rappers. So yeah. who who is joining the Wizards? Uh, oh. uh, well, the thing about the what he's taking from the Up and Smoke tour is the theatrics. Everybody had their own like set. Everybody had their. That's own, what you're like, taking from it. Um, like? Well, you know what? We could also ask like Chuck English if he wants to like come on a track, like do a right. beat for us. The cool kids. Yeah, I say, I say, here's what we do. Here's what we do, guys. Mm-hmm. We get, we ask Chuck English. We have to ask the Wizards mm-hmm. first. Yeah, oh, obviously. We ask uh, Eminem. Yeah. Uh, we reach out to Chuck English and Eminem, mm-hmm. Eminem and, and whoever and gets MGK. back to us first, whoever gets back to us first, they get the slot. Then we hit up Macklemore who was, who like announced he was going to do a wizard album and hey, kind of just put the kibosh on it. That was so weird. What happened? I remember seeing that. Like he, he must just, have gotten like idea? 10 <sighs> tweets about it from mm-hmm. people. And then he was like, Oh, there's no way I could surpass the perfection that those wizards that we know did. Right, uh, when they did their original, it. their first album, Purple Magic. Right. What was the wizard, or sorry, what was Macklemore's wizard thing? I, I kind of remember it, but I... He, like, announced that he's like, yo, I'm moving on to some hot shit. Get ready for the rapping wizards. And people were mm-hmm. like, it's been done. And he was like, well, I don't know what he was like, but he must have heard. Oh, he was probably like... Well, I, kn- I just know when I saw that, I... I immediately hit the notes in my iPhone and started to write a little little diss rap for if he Dude, did drop it. I pulled out really? I pulled out a pen and a pad and a beat too. You mean Young Zell did? Not Blake. I'm sorry. I immediately. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, exactly. You hit up Young Zell. I went to the crystal I hit ball. Up, right, right. Yeah, you hit up. I went Zell. to the I cauldron. Up, 
Uh dropped zelda line i hit up toby and i actually i got a Mm -hmm. beat too and i was like rapping on it with like listening to toby rap on it (laughs) right right, right. yeah you hit up old toby the wizard Uh, yeah and i was like that beat is solid i did not contact bulldozer he's kind of on his own shit right now (laughs) uh yeah he's 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 kind of down and out that poor yeah, guy. What's well, Paul Durser up to? Lamal spells well. Uh, oh. He was actually interested in like actually getting on a track with Macklemore and like and and oh. whoever. Yeah, oh. for to That's, like actually be heard oh. by people. Well, he was Lamal like, I think is, maybe more people would hear it if we did this instead of just dissed him. Yeah, Lamal has always been like the yes, peacekeeper sir. of yeah. the group. You well, know? he spells well, right? He he's spells in, well. He yeah. does spell. He casts spells well. And he is Jiggy Stardust. So. <laughs> A.K.A. Jiggy Stardust. You know what we should do is uh, contact the Wizards and say, uh, the, you know, it's like a, a Blues Brothers type thing. We got to get the band back together mm-hmm. and, right. um, and come out with the ultimate album that mm-hmm. will then change the world. Like Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure, mm-hmm. you know, basically a lot of other musical movies is what this will also right. be. Yeah, like. yeah, I you think. Know? You and, and we're moving on from the Conan O'Brien appreciation. <laughs> All right, thank you, Conan. <laughs> uh, if you want to bring it back, was there something else you wanted to say to him, it's Team Coco over there? Me? I feel like I said it, and then everyone else was like, yeah, but we we rapped, didn't we? Yes, well, yeah, nice. you know, A to Z. And I'm like, well, all right. I guess we're done talking about him. Here's the mm-hmm. thing. You kind of look <laughs> like him. Would you, you play him exactly in like a bio? Him. Would you yeah. like to play him? In- <laughs> Man, I, I wish. You know, I don't know if I could do him justice. Uh, uh, he's got the uh, He's, he's got to believe in yourself. Yeah, I think you got to believe in yourself. Have some confidence in it. I think okay. you can. I don't have to do a damn thing. <laughs> oh, you're right. You're oh, absolutely oh, okay. right. I'll slip All my right. wrist right now. Whoa. Okay. Whoa. Okay. Whoa. Okay. Hold on. You, Wait. Hey. Don't don't do that. All All right. Right. Don't slit your All wrist on, on the podcast, podcast <laughs> right now. <laughs> okay. Unders. <laughs> hey. Right. Come on. Okay. What was the video somebody played? Just saying you sh- you should believe in yourself. You don't have to. You should. You should. <laughs> yes. What was that video that somebody in the in the writers room played? Of the politician who like got up and then just blew his brains out. And what did oh, he that's say? The f- Damn, he said he said no, no. He, this Bud Dwyer. I'm gonna do this, and oof. I'm gonna do this. Yeah. yeah, you can't stop me. Yes, it's a it's it's a video on the internet of a live <laughs> suicide. Uh, if you're into watching that kind of stuff, I'm sure you can Google it. It's horrible, but it is very disturbing. Sticks with you still. When I close my eyes, I can't yeah. access it. Yeah. So uh, anyway, I'm gonna do that. Okay, but it's gonna be audio only. It's audio. I've seen that video and I cannot even envision it even a little bit. Really? I know I've watched that to, with you guys. It's right. so I, disturbing. It's like this yeah. dude up at Didn't a podium stick with me. pulls a gun out, says he's gonna do it, and then like people like kind of come to stop him. He's like, no, 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 I'm gonna. And then he, doom. It's very. It's like too realistic. Yeah, it's because well, really, it is real. You know, there's like no. Right. There's like yeah. no yeah, cinema to like, it. It just is like over and you're like, mm, mm. It's just real life. There's like no dope back ass to, camera shots. Back to Pornhub. Yeah, there's no there's no music. Yeah. There's, there's no, no music. Like, there's no score no to score it. No score underneath it. No. It's actually like kind of older footage, so it makes it even creepier just because it's kind of grainy and it's right. like beta max. Yeah, it's just like eesh. you're like grandpa shot himself. Poor guy. I mean, did you guys ever, uh, when you were... Grandpa got ran over. Old musket. <laughs> when you were growing up, did you ever get into the yeah. the Faces of Death uh, VHSs? Yeah. yeah. That was like pre, pre-internet pre shit. We rented those. Yeah. It was just like people getting electrocuted or like hit and eaten by animals or hit by trains I, and I shit. I feel like that's the one I remember is like an alligator one where a dude got... Yeah. got even by a fucking alligator. Yeah. I don't know if this is from that, but I I remember watching it and being like, oh, I just watched a man get murdered when like <laughs> he's just walking down the street and just a tire out of nowhere, like this giant tire is flying across the street and just clocks him in the back of the head and for sure this guy's dead. That's on the internet too. I don't know if I don't, I don't remember that, but I do remember that from the internet for sure. Yeah. I he think face plants onto the concrete after getting yeah. hit with the tire, right? I Yeah, this tire like flies off a truck from the interstate or something and it's coming at him like 80 miles an hour and oh, it just right. clocks him in the back of the head as he's just walking down the street and you're like, well, what are the odds? God. They're actually higher than you think. 
Really, give it, give it to us. I just said they're high. Yeah, oh, this is okay. important. Yeah, okay, okay. number. Right. This is really important. Let's no, go. I just remember those VHSs though being like an urban legend at school where kids would be like, "Have you seen it? Have you seen it?" But I never, I, I, I can't watch that kind of. I shit. rented it thinking it was a horror movie because you know, like when you're, you could rent it. Ten, yeah. You it, could rent Faces of Death. Video Adventure had it, or no? You know mm-hmm. what? No, no, no. I'm sorry. N- I think Neilan Brothers videos had it. There we go. Um, um, but we had already finished all the Nightmare on Elm Streets, all the Friday the 13ths and Halloweens and shit. And we were like, Faces of Death. And it had a cool box. And I think there were like three movies. I will say, if you go on, say, uh, eBay or Etsy, Google or uh, search for vintage Faces of Death gear. The shirts mm-hmm. are pretty sick. Their merch was, was top Whoa. Notch. Top notch. But you're going to pay a pretty penny. Yeah. I mean, and all those people who died. It's just smut. It's, it's just death <laughs> videos. That's crazy that that's what's getting passed around, you know? Yeah. We didn't understand it. We were like waiting for the narrative to kick in. And all of a sudden, it was just like accident after accident. And you're just like. Yeah. It's kind of like it's kind of like America's Funniest Home Videos. But, <laughs> but not. Y- y- what what happened, the actual results. Because a lot of times you would watch. AFV and be like, oh, that dad for sure died, right? right. Death by getting his nuts kicked a hundred times. Right. <laughs> he got killed by the um, jackalope. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> 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 I was a jackalope. <laughs> Fast as I know. <laughs> Those were the craziest, funnier, funniest home videos. <laughs> you would. Uh, it was the craziest, funniest home videos when you were like, oh, that guy, like for sure, it really hurt himself. Like yeah. a dad who's like fixing the lights uh, on the roof for Christmas, <laughs> and then he just slides off the roof, and you're like, he's paralyzed. <laughs> right. He's paralyzed. He fell 30 feet. Right. It cuts to a super 90s audience, like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And he's runner up for best video this week. Be sure and vote. They would well, fucking play that sick music while everyone's doing their little punch doo, pad. Doo, 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 doo. And, yeah. and Bob Saget had the last <laughs> laugh. Oh, yes, man. he did. Bro, Indeed. they were doing voiceovers on like all those clips, man. They would string out. That's right. Can we just do a Bob Saget appreciation? <laughs> okay, Dude, stop. let's start it now. I mean, stop think about this. Pod. <laughs> they no, just, just, this guy's trying to appreciate today. Thank you, Durs. I, I love that. I love that. Hey, about man, you. give them roses while they're here. <laughs> Thank mm-hmm. you. Yes. I'm you with you. Got it. I'm with there you go. Bob Saget. Thank you, bro. I'm pissed Thank now. you, yeah. Bob. Thank you, you raised Bob, for me, man. DT, Danny Tanner. <laughs> for all those little voices that you put underneath people getting hurt, that shit was funny no, as hell. I don't think that was him. I think he brought um, what do you Dave Couillé on board to do those voices. Dave Couillé had his own show. Oh. Uh, uh, Dave Couillé had Dave his own Couillet show. Dave Couillé did the voice of the Jackalope for sure, because it was the same voice. But that wasn't AFV. That was on his show. That was America's Funniest People. I mm-hmm. think that he mm-hmm. started on America, America, America's Funniest Home Videos. And then they were like, this guy is a genius. He's dating six no year old way. Alanis Morissette. We I got to <laughs> give him his own show. Wait, you think that Bob Saget had a show and then he got Dave Coulier to do the voices and then yeah. Dave Coulier was given a spin? Have you never been on a show that Adam created? No, I'm saying then he got his spinoff from that because I thought Bob Saget did the voices and Dave Coulier did the voices. I thought it was the same format, two different people. Honestly, I don't know. <laughs> Neither do I. <laughs> but like, I just remember the Jackalope on America's Funniest Home Videos. There's literally no way to tell. But I'm looking at, at the cast and it's Tom Bergeron did it for a while. Bob Saget. Well, that's new. Uh, that's new. And can that's we new cool. stop the pop for a second and give Todd Bergeron his roses? Well, for no, we can't. Todd Todd. We can't. Bergeron we can't give Todd. <laughs> Uh, well, actually, let's give Todd, because that might be Tom's uh, younger brother, who didn't get a lot of shine. Check it out. See who he's yeah. related to. <laughs> yeah. Tom Bergeron <laughs> might have had a relative named Todd. And, you know, to be a relative of a, of a super famous guy like Tom Bergeron, and your right. name is also pretty close to Tom, it's Todd. Right. Uh, I'm assuming that it was kind of hard for him. So big shout yeah. out. And let's appreciate, uh, appreciate you. him. Dom yeah. Bergeron. <laughs> appreciate you, Well, their father, John. Dom, was a huge influence to me as well. <laughs> <laughs> Dom Bergeron. He's the host of uh, Prancing Prancing with the Stars. I will say that America's Funniest People did have a low-key banger theme song. And, that, okay. and we're playing that theme song. I feel like not everybody knows that one. We're going to play that theme song right now. We got laughs from coast to coast to make you smile. 
Was it the one that ends in America, America, America uh, this, this is, is you? you. That's one of his funniest home videos. No. Okay, so, yeah. Mm. See, so here we go. Yes, it is. <laughs> yes, it is. I had the same thought, Blake. That's you go not... look it up, and I'm going to be over here maybe being right. Strangers on the friends next door. Da, 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 da. That was the Dave Coulier. And I love bum, that we're bum, deep bum, diving. Bum, 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 bum. Da, da. I see, they yeah. say, the, hey, here's a poll for everyone at home. Do you love that we're deep diving? Okay, they are said, you ready? Let, Let us that know. camera roll. <laughs> Because it's the red, white, and blue. Oh, this wait, sorry. That's uh The funniest things you do. America. A, this is America's Funniest Home Videos. Kyle, America. and your voice is just fucking good. Oh, this is yeah. you. Oh, don't, 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 don't. Not only Thank is you. Kyle my favorite actor, he might be one of my favorite singers. Mm -hmm. I just Thank like you. how he goes for it. Okay, and he's not afraid of what he sounds like. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> I hope to do that forever. Durs Ghost. is right. The uh. This is sick. Do you think we'll get Listen to that, ratchet, that scratchy voice? Oh, She's good. I apologize. I will be apologizing at the end of the show. Just wait for it, all right? But I okay. am sorry right okay. now. I am sorry about what We I doubled our 15-second limit. Would you think that was the same... Do you think that's the same woman who sang on... Um, was, was it the step by step that had the woman singing theme song? It could have been the 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 full house theme too. Or no, that was a dude. Or full was it full house? There were so many good theme songs. What's the last show that had a good Do we talk about theme addict? <laughs> that we talk about. <laughs> Do we dip back in our own shit? Again? Uh, well, that is that scratchy voice does remind remind is reminiscent of all those nineties sitcom openers oh, and we do have so, dope yeah, ass thematic is one of video. my favorite sketches that we've ever done i thought that was a that was a that was a banger a classic banger yeah we did a we did a sketch several years ago before everything where um i was like a recording engineer looking for the next hot talent to record a sick 90s theme song for a tv show because theme songs were big back then mm -hmm. and this little rube named andy i think mm -hmm. comes I think it was in andy bovine wasn't andy, it? andy bovine, bovine. Yeah. yeah and it's it's adam as like this fresh new talent and he just fucking blows my mind then he gets hooked on cocaine and, <laughs> and dies. Then heroin, so, and, and, and then he gets a manager his right. manager chucky gay, gay chucky wagon, gay wagon. <laughs> yeah. Blake. Chucky Gay Wagon, how are you? And what song did you die recording? He like uh, uh, step by step was step by step day by day. Yeah, and then we'll and then uh, he better. closes my eyes when it goes the second, second time. time around. Around. Yeah. Yeah. Close. And uh, we're gonna play that right now. Watch out, my lady's coming. <laughs> Take care of him. You're all right. Go. You know what? Dude, that shit's Welcome so back. good. <laughs> Wait, That's so a lot of, of work for Todd. This uh, <laughs> I don't know how any of this works. But. What was what is the most recent show in memory that had an actual good theme song? I'm trying to think of any shows that had a. Like, I mean, I like The Office's theme song. Well, oh, do -do -do, yeah. Do -do 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 -do. Look at you. Yeah. When did we stop summarizing the premise? Because that was cool when theme songs had like lyrics and they actually right. told you what they was would, going on in the show that's right. dope we don't like do that anymore the brady bunch and like small wonder can we just give appreciation to small wonder bro while the adams family can we give appreciation to adams family while they're still here yeah so what you're saying is we should have took the beat from the skinny boys that's the people that do the group that did the workaholics wow, theme wow, song wow, wow, wow. we yeah. kind of explained wow, wow. what our show was wow. have them re-record it like Four dudes at home and they work there too. Well, yeah. they don't work at home. Well, the fourth one's a ghost three. and you never <laughs> right. see him. Yeah, yeah there's, there's three. three. There's three. There's three of them. <laughs> Blake forgot him. Blake I, forgot Blake's on a different planet sometimes. <laughs> but yeah, it would be something like <laughs> that. Like, boo -doo 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 I'm sorry. I was just looking at four people on the screen. <laughs> I assumed Kyle was one of the roommates. Well, I was there the whole time. <laughs> yeah, but for seven years, didn't you film that TV show? <laughs> yeah, weren't you there for uh, 86, 87 episodes? Yeah, like but that. at this moment, I'm looking at four people. <laughs> I was on a crowded street, I'd say. The show with 89 roommates <laughs> that also work together at a grocery store. 
parking lot. Oh, I'm sorry, guys. I'm out on the street. I just saw 89 people. I just... <laughs> Dude, your (laughs) eyes are in charge of your brain. I love it. Hey, baby. That's what I'm talking about. It's our microphone, a computer, and four pictures of people. It's this podcast. (laughs) Your eyes are in charge of your brain. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. (laughs) Fuck. Dumb app. (laughs) Oh, oh, Why don't we just get... shout out Beavis and Butthead? <laughs> Bro, give it up for Mike Judge. <laughs> okay, all right? Let's so appreciate can... Mike Judge You're for a, a second. Stupid all right? Living legend. Yeah, right. man. Yeah. I think he's I a surfer, this... and I like that. Do you think maybe that could be the documentary we make, is like tracking down the skinny boys and seeing what was up with them? Because I don't know where those guys are. Didn't... The skinny boys are the guys that made the song that ended up being the workaholic soundtrack. And mm-hmm. we, uh, or theme song, not soundtrack, theme song, right. but theme song. And wasn't it we were looking at... Gotta be fresh. Uh, and, and stop me if I'm wrong, uh, and I'm sure I will be. But uh, we were looking for, we wanted some sort of beatbox stop. thing as our theme song. And Should we I wanted, stop you? Yeah. Stop. <laughs> we wanted to get, we wanted to Biz get Biz, Biz Marquee to create yep. a song for the show. Mm-hmm. Right. And it was going to be too expensive. Okay, well, you right. shouldn't have stopped me because that's what I was about to say. <laughs> but we didn't uh, want but, a, just any beatbox. We were like Biz Marquee. Yeah, Marquee. but we knew we wanted – Biz Marquee's known for doing beatboxing stuff, and we wanted yes. beatbox. So we're going to go out to Biz Marquee. It was going to be way too expensive. And we ended up uh, – I think it was it – was it Blake? He was looking mm-hmm. for, uh, yeah. at like iTunes, like if you like this, you might like this kind of thing. Yeah, I had cut together the images and I was trying music and Blake threw me that song. And it there's versions of it where it was like even the other parts of the like right. it, mm-hmm. we tried like there's so many different versions and parts. We should have said you do it. Wow. In yeah, that song that is Can we like, just take a minute to appreciate Kyle's <laughs> Kyle's Oh man. I I never stop. Oh, thank you very guys. much. Yeah. Thank you. It was a Fair rendition. Enough. It was just a rendition of Skinny Boy's Jockbox. Uh, but Which, yeah. by the by the way, the album Weightless mm-hmm. is is got tracks. That's and not then, the only. And then track. we we yeah. were going on. We were doing some kind of tour or big live event, and I remember we reached out and we were trying to find the Skinny Boys, and they were unreachable. We could not find them. We put feelers out. We contacted the. The label, they were like, we have no idea where these guys are. That song came yeah. out, you know, 30 years ago. Yeah. And mm-hmm. uh, and we were kind of shit out of luck. I don't think the people who own the song were doing us any favors. You know what Yeah, I mean? they absolutely didn't care. They were like, uh, yeah, go fuck yourselves. Yeah, they're well, like, just pay us. But um, shout out shout out to the Skinny Boys. Uh, if you're out there, we'd love to get in contact with you because I think, uh, you know, Wait. if we ever take the podcast out on, uh, on tour, which we would like to do at some point, yeah. you know, uh, we would love for them to come on and uh, and maybe open up the show for us. That'd be so fun. Yeah, let's fucking insane. let's get some money, and you guys don't even have to talk to us. You <laughs> can you can show up and say, "Hey, what's up, guys? Uh, fuck you, perform, kill it, and then be like, all right, we're out of here, guys. Uh, we'll then, see you yeah, in the next city for sure. Yeah, you don't. Yeah, you don't need to talk to us. The skinny boys are in that story though. The skinny boys are like dick. Pretty rude. No, yeah. I'm just I don't hey, I don't know how they feel. We took their voices and put them on a fucking TV show 30 years later. I don't know if they're like stoked on it. Yeah, I wonder how I wonder, they they have to have someone in their lives. This is why it's a good documentary. Yeah. This is they it. they, they this have to have know. someone in their lives that showed them or told them they're not completely ignorant right now, right? They have to have known that their song was the theme song to... Yeah, I wouldn't assume they're completely ignorant. Yeah, right. Yeah. I, I they would have think to. they'd know. You I would think, think so, yeah. Yeah, for sure. It'd be a great doc. Well, it's a good... Uh, now I see the hook, Finding Skinny. Can we just take a moment to appreciate the Skinny Boys? Searching yeah, for absolutely. Skinny. Yeah. Let's do it. I mean, yeah. it's they were... Um, Kind of a commercial response to the fat boys. Yes. Uh, and we just lost a fat boy. And mm-hmm. I don't think I'm young enough to remember that dude's name because I never had their stuff. I do remember my friend Ray Weaver had like a mini tape. You mean old enough, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry. I yeah. was, I'm not old enough. Yeah. But my homie had a, a little, they were like these mini tapes that they sold for these like fake Walkman. What? Do you guys really? know what I'm talking about? And they would have no. like one song on them. I mean, this is like this is like eighty seven. This sounds like a t- uh, tight. 
what was it called? Tiger or Ty- Tyga? Not the rapper. But Tiger with a little tail. Yeah. Yeah. The, yeah, 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 yeah. Electronic device. Yes. It, fuck. What was it called? That was like a, a what would you do prize? Like Tiger, like Casio and Tiger were kind of in the same. Yes. Casio keyboard and a Schwinn bicycle. <laughs> yeah. And yeah. whistle Huffy blow pops. <laughs> whistle oh, pops. Yo. Whistle pops. <laughs> whistle blow pops were a problem at my middle school. Oh yeah, I loved uh, I loved the rings, the the blow pop rings. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, yeah. ring pops. Dude, ring dude, pops. Can we just those. fucking appreciate <laughs> those are candy. Still yeah. fantastic. <laughs> ring pops are yeah. so good. Like that's what I'm most looking forward to of having kids is like having a reason to be like, you know, let's uh let's go down the candy aisle real quick because right. I don't really fuck with candy as an adult because I'm worried about jawline. But mm-hmm. as soon as you have a kid, you're like, well, I have to give them. Um, some high fructose yeah. corn syrup, and it's all good uh, you know? if I gain some weight. I'm a dad now. Yeah, it's all it's okay. I'm a dad. I can strap some on. Right. When I was a kid, I remember I would uh, I had all kinds of weird side hustles. So I would then take that money, and that's what you called them. <laughs> that's what I called them when I was robbing the neighborhood kids. Mm-hmm. Uh, and I would uh, t- I would take uh, that money that I got from uh, my illegal paper route and also robbing the neighborhood kids, oh, yeah. and I would uh, get ring mafia all the ring pops, baby. I walk down, I'd lower this the seat on my bike and just roll with mm-hmm. all ring pops up on the handles. Ooh, yeah. 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 Flashing, Ooh, <laughs> let them know. That would actually be kind of a cool flex. There should be somebody who gets a ring pop that's an actual, like, bejeweled ring pop. That's a oh, cool yeah. look. Right, right. That would be great. And walk hey. a red carpet with it or something. I could I could see someone doing that. A Dude. quick a quick little circle back real quick. It's called a pocket. Mm-hmm. Conan O'Brien. We love him. <laughs> it's hey, just we love him. He's underrated. <laughs> uh, it's called a pocket rock, pocket rocker. Hey, hey, oh, hey okay. okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I think Wait, we've all had it? a pocket rocker from time to time. <laughs> oh, my God. I'm not pissed. I'm excited now. <laughs> I'm excited now. A pocket rocker. That's a tiny tape. Hey, yeah, tiny tape. No, that's, oh, yeah. I'm yeah, that, that's what it is. Moving on. <laughs> <laughs> what else is it? I'm not following. Uh, hey, Blake, you want to see my pocket rocker? Excuse me? Uh, yeah. Oh, it's a thing I got off eBay from my childhood. <laughs> yeah, right. What else would it be? I'm just oh. running lines. Yeah. <laughs> Um, just, just running lines. Just, running, just lines. running lines. Her I'm in this show. That's been, uh, <laughs> a product that's been dead for over 30 years? Yeah. Yeah, I'm in this scene with like 89 people. I'm just running lines. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. This it's it's, it's from my show, Workaholics. <laughs> Haven't you guys been done with that for like four or five years now? Oh, no, there's yeah. eight yeah. new yeah, stars. Just, uh, we do it every it's week. Like, <laughs> it's a big ensemble. Like, it's all that's I have, the whole though, thing. So. To me, <laughs> this is still uh, Workaholics. I still call this Workaholics. <laughs> like we're still... <laughs> Wait, I, think legally, we, I think legally you can't. So yeah, legally you can't say that. Can we uh, uh, okay. expunge that, please? Can we redact okay. that? Uh, redact right. that from the record. Sorry. Okay, strike that. Tiger <laughs> Iheart's gonna come down swinging on us. Mm. That oh. would be a problem. Tiger Beat. Did that have anything to do with Tiger Beat? That magazine? No, no. But tigers have always and will always just be that. something we talk about. Yeah, people love tigers. Can we just give a shout out to Tiger? Does Tiger Beat exist? Because that seems kind of creepy. So that was like teenage boys in magazines, right? It was like, is that what it was, Blake? In in girls, I think. But it, I think it was, it, yeah, I, it was. It was like a magazine for uh, young people and young stars specifically. <laughs> so then right, like people JTT. would cut them out and put them on their yeah. on their walls. But I think it was geared more towards little girls. It was just like Will Smith. And River Phoenix and fucking the Corys. It was Jonathan Taylor Thomas and Zachary Ty Bryan. Is. And anyone with three names kind of got on the cover. Right. Mark right. Paul Gossler. Mark mm. Paul Gossler. Mm. Gossler or Gossner? What's it? Is it Gossler? It's, it's Gossler. 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 Okay. You, you nailed yeah, it. You I, I second guessed myself. I thought it was Gossner. Wrong again. And can we kind of give him his flowers right now? Because he's still out there working, right? Let's give him his flowers. Who are we talking, Mark Paul? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he's working. Durs, I Durs, can, uh, you got a little story. <laughs> I can attest for that. He yeah, I was, my uh, boy. I was. He did. On a, he I did, was on did a did pilot he? for something called Mixed Dish, a spinoff to Blackish, and they were mm-hmm. like, mm, we don't like you. <laughs> Cut me and replace me with Mark Paul Gossler, who's killing it. Um, but here's the best part, is that in the end of the movie, Game Over Man, 
Um, <laughs> Mark. Uh, the number one movie of all time on the number Netflix. One movie on Netflix. Netflix. Check it out. Yeah. Game over, man. Everyone loves it. We are approached by Mark Cuban, Huge. who goes, we love your guy's story from the movie. We want to turn this story in the movie into a video game. And we're like, oh my God, that's going to be so cool when we're in a video game. And he's like, yeah, but we're going to replace you with better looking, well-known actors. And I said Mark Paul Gossler for me. Really? And the, and the yep. end of the movie is like us, I'm doing air quotes, but we're replaced with Sean Astin for Adam, Clara right. right. Delevingne for you, and Mark yep. Paul Gossler for me. And he had to have approved that, I think. Yeah. And then yeah. he fucking really replaced me. Yeah, <laughs> dude, he, he for sure. Not, I'm not crying. He's not crying. He's not crying. You can't I'm see not him, but he's not, crying. he's not he's not crying. He isn't he's, crying. If you think he's crying, he isn't. Oh. I mean, that's like, what the <laughs> fuck is that? That's some that's some higher level shit right there, right? Like, well, that's how you know God is the funniest one out there. <laughs> well, Thank that's you, weird God. because actually, I was supposed to be the enchantress in mm. Suicide Squad. Is that who Cara Delevingne was? All right, and what now we're fuck? back. I'm glad we and took that. Back. Back. <laughs> and now what we're back. And now we're back. Have you ever been fired <laughs> off anything, uh, Blakers? Other than the McDonald's commercial, you ever got shit canned? I well, got that cut you were out just of that. cut out. Yeah, yeah. Mm, cut but out. Have I been recast? Yeah, mm, not to my knowledge. I I, I feel like <laughs> I did. <do. laughs> I've never watched anything I've ever done, so not, anything's possible. Not well, to my you, knowledge is I, the funniest <laughs> thing you could have said right there, Blakey. Well, I did. <laughs> not to my knowledge. When I did the one little, I did a little <laughs> part in Entourage, and it was a scene <laughs> with Jeremy Piven, and I remember the I pivs. was like, I was hella nervous, and I was kind of right. like kind of like biffing my lines a little bit and i remember piven being like bro you don't sew it up you're getting axed dude he shook me to the bones man. wait what did he said you were getting cut that's so cool i love that he thinks that's his job dude he's like come on blake and i'm just like oh shit dude jeremy piven's about to kick my ass because he just wants to get out of there what were you doing wrong by the way, like for that's sure. gonna help. Like that's gonna help you. Oh, like, yeah. oh, for sure. Thank you. Now I'm less nervous because you're yelling at me. Yeah, because yeah. the script, the, like you know, they really stick to the script. It was one of those like sets where you have to hit every word. Well, dude, Don't the jokes are solid gold on Entourage. Oh, yeah, you yeah, know, no, I mean, I'm, just like yeah, <sighs> grammatical masterpieces. I, I know you're kind of. Uh, you know, making fun of it, and, and you're saying that sarcastic. Wait, yeah, yeah, I, guess crying. Was. I guess part of what I just said was a joke. But, uh, I mean, it was one, a generational comedy that a lot of people stand by, and it's, um, yeah. it's kind I of how I live I don't life, disagree. So. A lot of people stand by it. Yeah, I don't know. Well, I'm not crying. I'm it's not. cool, because, guys, I'm actually part of crying. the Entourage universe. So Yeah, you really yeah. are. Did you come I'm back jealous. in the movie? How uh, did I not you see about? you in the show? Were you in the show? <laughs> you did make it. Yeah, you were someone's roommate. Did you, Is that did correct? Did you make Blake? it onto the yeah. show? Yes. You like knock on a window and you're somebody's roommate. Jeremy Piven, I believe, is dating my roommate. She's kind of a younger girl, and uh, and this is in the later uh, later seasons. I have no idea. It is, uh. and uh, later seasons, he's going through, uh, Jeremy's, uh, Ari Gold is going through mm -hmm. a breakup, a separation with uh, Mrs. Ari, because right. they never gave her a name, right. and uh, <laughs> the, uh, he's going through a separation, and then starts yes, to- Yes, so um, I, um, I'm that girl's roommate, I knock on the, the window, and I'm like, hey, bro, do you got any condoms? Because I guess I'm like- blazing somebody did you do uh well maybe that was part of it you like used right. a voice that isn't your voice right. you were like um, hey bro was that <laughs> let's it let's go blake come on man do your voice <laughs> did you like try to do too much of a thing and it kind of threw you he came no, in with it, his accent yeah he no. was like hey bro uh all right mate you got any jimmy caps i'm like uh was that it <laughs> I don't. I think it was more just me going like, uh, uh, uh. Why? And they're like, you have to, you have to hunch down and get in the window. And I kept being like, my eyes above the window. And they're like, dude, you're just not in frame. This is working. Just hit your mark. It's not much of the delivery. Wait, you didn't know how to put your head in a window? It was hard, dude. I didn't want to, you know, intrude on Mr. Piven's space, man. And this wasn't, uh, this wasn't season one of Workaholics. This is like we were like season three or four, I think. That's what I'm wondering too, Adam. Yeah. So I think you had done 
enough episode. This is this enough was a stunt cast. Enough, a little bit. This is an. You've done enough episodes of television that to, you should know how to hit. To know the craft. Hit yeah. marks. Not and, with Jeremy Piven, though, man. Yeah. Not with exactly Golden Globe or Emmy winning. I don't know what it was, but that dude was. He won something. He just was he, biff and take, so you weren't hitting your mark. Your head wasn't where it needed to it be. It was a whole nother animal, dude. It was a Biffing whole nother it. animal. It wasn't. Yeah. It wasn't like I, I knew on Workaholics. Can you look at Jeremy in the eyes, please, Blake? Can you look <laughs> at him? Like, make this like you're connecting with him. Is that yeah. okay? Can you bring your head down a little bit? And he looks at you and just uh, and he's just shaking his head. Don't do it. Don't you look at me. <laughs> yeah, that's the thing. He was one of the first celebrities that I... Uh, <laughs> can we take a minute just to appreciate Jeremy Piven? Yeah. Hell uh, yeah. Hey, Evanston uh, Township High School uh, graduate. He's an alumni of the high school I went he to. He was one of the first celebrities that I saw in Hollywood. I was walking Runyon Canyon with man. me and I think Christine and our dog Rocky that we won off the television show, Who Gets See? the Dog? Right. Mm. Check it out. It's on the Fido mm. Network. And then let's cut to that now. Uh, <laughs> and we're back. Gets the dog? <laughs> Audio only. <laughs> and then so I'm walking up Runyon Canyon and I'm walking up the steepway and he's nice. running down the steepway, <sighs> uh, steepway. holding shirtless. <laughs> Holding a mountain bike over his head, yeah, with like six mm. percent body fat or something, and I. You think he stole it? I for sure he robbed somebody. <laughs> you think he jacked that shit? <laughs> he beat somebody off a bike. No, I think it was just like that. It, that was peak <laughs> Entourage. Entourage was still on. It was right. probably like season three or four at that time, and it, he was like a fucking star at that yeah. point. And I think he was just like, "Yo, I got to get out there. Let Hollywood know that I can carry mountain bikes above my head and run Runyon Canyon." Um, yeah, baby. I, he, so this is a small world situation. My wife's mom worked at his parents' theater when she was like in her 20s or something like that. And his parents owned a a famous. Yes. His parents have like a, a, outside Chicago, they have like a a kids theater uh, school or whatever it's called. I'm not an actor. I love Um, children. Where like teens learn how to act. Like the Cusacks all went through there. Jeremy obviously went through there. A bunch of people went through it. That's and cool. my wife's mom worked there, uh, like on the administrative side, and she would babysit Jeremy Piven. And I saw this what? fool at, at like the gym somewhere in Hollywood, Hollywood. And <laughs> I was like, and the trainer introduced me and I was like, hey, actually, uh, we went to the same high school and I had the whole thing on deck to be like, my wife's mom, blah, blah, blah. And he was like, that's tight, man. And just like walked off. And I was like, yeah, but I have. <laughs> All right. Hey, good to catch up. Cute dog. I'll see you around. He was looking swole, though. Yeah, he was swole. You he was know, if, if anything, he was looking That's swole. my best friend. Good. And that's the most important, that's important part. Yeah. Can we take a minute to appreciate him? Yeah. Let's... Kyle, have you ever been uh, fired off anything? Fired off of anything. Any job at all? I have been, I have been cut out. Any Piven, any Piven stories? Yeah, it could be, it could be any job. It doesn't, it doesn't need to be, uh, it does not need to be, yeah. you oh, know, Hollywood oh, does... related. It can oh, be. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I got fired from the pumpkin patch when I was a kid. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> is this <laughs> you were uh, okay? Seasonal you were stealing pumpkins, smashing pumpkins, fucking the pumpkins. Yeah. Seasonal job. It's just Did in the fall, obviously. Adam De Niro just kicked in. Uh, well, oh I didn't so God. much get uh, fired as I didn't get asked back for the Christmas tree farm, which was next. Oh, they were shit. like, you could go home. That's what I also worked at a pumpkin patch slash haunted house, and me and Austin worked there. My my good oh, friend yeah. Austin Anderson. And I wasn't fired. I just was not asked back because we we both <laughs> played two monsters, and I was in a co- or Austin. I don't know. We, we kept trading off and on, but one of us were in a costume that was like eight feet tall, and uh, so you're this nice. giant monster that comes out from behind this uh, trick wall. Are you wall. on stilts, or your your neck is long? What's the? No, it's like the head is kind of resting on your shoulders, and it goes up from, oh. from there. And uh, we sick. kept acting like we were fucking each other. Like we'd walk in the room. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> we'd walk in the room and I'd act like I'm fucking him or he'd act like he's fucking Funny. me. Right. And uh, and so it wasn't really scary as much as just like, oh, those two guys are just <laughs> fucking Disturbing. shit out of would, each would other. You call What's that, going on? <laughs> would you call that a gay experiment? 
I'm, that might be an experiment. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, but yeah. okay, we had we had a fan ask if we ever had a gay experiment. Oh, Sixty nine, dudes. Well, we might have to answer that in the Mint Mobile Smint Minute. Yeah, you, we might we might need to do a Smint Minute on that. Yeah. Smint. No, I got fired off, and I might have told this on the podcast, but I got fired off. Wait, do you want to know why? Do you want to go know why I got fired from the pumpkin farm? Oh, sure, of course. Yeah, because I. Took two steak sandwiches every day, and they weren't having it. They would give out lunch, and I would always pocket two. And they were like, "Dude, you gotta go." Did you say you were a growing boy? They wouldn't let me do it, man. They didn't dig it, and I sucked at parking duty. Like I would not help people park. I just stood out there. Fuck it. So you stole and did a poor job. So you're a bat. Yeah, you're you were a thief and bad at the job. <laughs> yeah. All and right. This pumpkin patch had steak sandwiches, or just every day the boss brought steak sandwiches from home. Home? What is no? It w- it was like part of how they made their money. They like sold sandwiches at this place, and they were bomb as fuck. So I okay. would take two, maybe three, and just like grub on that shit. Okay. You're and eating three like, steak sandwiches, dude. Fuck yeah, I was wow. like, 16, you were a growing boy. seventeen. I was a growing yeah. boy. Yeah, and they he was 16, 17, 240, 250. <laughs> yeah, he was a growing boy. <laughs> at yeah. that point, I remember. I think I was racing to two hundred. I was trying to do that with a buddy of mine in high school. Was right. who could get to two hundred wow. first, and right. now. <laughs> <laughs> now you're yes, trying sir. to race down. And now I'm top Ra- that. There's the documentary, <laughs> Racing to 200. Now I am now I need to go. The, you're racing back down. <laughs> I got to go backwards now. Yeah, oh, the big boy. boy. The big boy cometh. Big yeah. boy noise. <laughs> Hard to shake him. Yeah. Hard to shake him. I yeah. got fired from La- Lacoste. I, sure. I've been fired from a, a couple jobs. I got fired <laughs> uh, from Cal's Camera Whoops. in Costa Mesa, California, when I first moved out there. I worked there and I sold tripods, didn't know anything about tripods. Yes. And so it would just be like, this is good when there's three legs and that's kind of all you need. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I remember I, mean, really, I was jealous of you with that job. I'm like, well, should I get this more, uh, this more expensive one? I'm like, I mean, yeah, you, yeah, if you want to, you can. I mean, <laughs> it definitely credit, has the right? same amount of legs. How, like how, is there a variation of tripods? Like I don't. Yeah, there's a monopod. Yeah, there are, the, I mean, yes, there is. The, uh, there's a monopod, gorilla pod, tripod. See, okay. see all the names of different pods? And I should have okay. learned those. But I got fired. <laughs> I, got uh, fired. Be- I got fired because I would drink too much water. That was why he <laughs> fired me. He was like, what? you're drinking. Because you had to walk all the way across the store to refill your cup. So I was just <laughs> chugging water. I was chugging water so I wouldn't have to right. talk about tripods all day. So hey, I'm just over there. I would, I would fill up my cup, chug it on the way back to my station, be empty, and have what? to go back to fill it up again. And so I was never I and was then never you gotta there. go pee. <laughs> and, then, like, <laughs> and then he fires me, Cal, from Cal's camera. And nice yeah, guy. Fire. It was a family-owned business. Super yeah. nice guy. Super nice family. And mm-hmm. he was like, I, I have to let you go. You drink too much water. And I'm like, yeah, okay, I get that. And uh, then the next day, what uh, the fuck? The, his daughters who helped, him run the business, right. they must have been like, hey, Adam's a good kid. Like, you know, you g- give him a shot. Yeah, I was like 18 years old at the time. Are the and daughters your age or are they also no, they're, grown they're, women? No, they're grown women. They're probably okay. in their 40s or 50s. Right. And uh, and uh, he calls me back and he's like, hey, you know, I, I talked with uh, my daughters and I want to give you another shot. Uh, you know, that was just something that was bothering me that you were never at your station. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> And I'm like, sure. Uh, but I told him that I can't because I need to concentrate on my comedy, uh, mm. which Strong. he laughed so hard in my face. You are funny. <laughs> yeah, he laughed so hard in my face. And I was 18. I didn't need a con- I needed a job is what I needed. Like yeah. I was in I was in Southern California. Uh, yeah, this is OC. Going to community college. Like I wasn't there wasn't a lot of concentrated on my comedy being done anyway. Mm-hmm. So I should have just kept the job. Mm-hmm. Uh, but the Hollywood job that I lost was uh, I recorded Ferdinand the Bull for oh, like shit. That's a, right. a year and a half. And recorded, uh, you know, dozens of sessions. And uh, then one day I got a call saying, hey, we're replacing you. You're no longer Ferdinand the Bull. It's going to be John Cena. Mm. So, well, um, well. it makes p- perfect sense. Yeah. I was like, yeah, he's a better Ferdinand the Bull. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. I, w- I would like to hear the the divine cut, though. I bet you yeah. killed it, dude. I bet Can you Can they release it. a divine cut? That would be yeah. cool. Can I don't know if Ferdinand the Bull it? made enough money to release another cut of uh, the movie that didn't make any money. So, well, but 
I'd love to hear Shots it. Shots fired. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, it would have if you were there. I hate. I was fired. Fuck Sorry, them. John. Nobody <laughs> right. seen it. Oh, um, damn. Points. Nice. Nobody yes. points. Hey, no points, sir. <laughs> Thank right you. Up. Yes. Damn, should have should have had some points. Um, Man. <laughs> Sorry. I, I have That's a good great. getting fired story from um, Lacoste on Rodeo Drive, guys. Yes, points! Oh. Ooh, money millionaire. The face of Lacoste? They can't you fire fired? you. You got It was what? a, t- it was a, a two You had too many collars. They were like, mm-hmm. oh, this is too many. <laughs> <laughs> they were like, you're buying all... Oh, dude. First Pop of all... Them r- collars. <laughs> they were so good to me. They were, they were good people there. Um, That's nice. And the fucking discounts were next level. Two times a year, not that I was there long enough for this, but two times a year you got 10 items for free and then you got 70% off. So that Christmas I was Whoa. like, a Hello. god. Um, but it was a two-parter. And then everyone got uh, Lacoste polos and they're like, I don't wear, okay, thank you, Anders. And you're like, man, there you go. No, no, I, va- I varied it up. Mama got a scarf, Ooh, brother yeah. got... Eric got a polo because he's popping collars. Yeah. Oli got a nice uh, sweater, collars. I believe. And mm-hmm. uh, what did Phil get? Can't remember. I think Phil might have gotten also gotten a sweater. Hello. Pop them collars. I showed up about 45 minutes late one morning because my homie John at, at this time was friends with Tommy Lee from Motley Crue. Mm-hmm. Oh, yep. my and God. He was oh like, my God. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, come man. on. Come on out to Tommy Lee's house in Malibu. I'm kicking it with him. He's got his like chef here. He's making dinner. We're going to get wild. I'm like, for sure. So oh I drive out in my We're green minivan wild. that you guys remember. Yes, you do. Oh, yeah. Yes, I you pull do. In, he's got like a gate to the crib. And I'm like, this is next level shit, right? This is like you're going to a star's mansion in Malibu in your mm-hmm. minivan. And yep. you work at Lacoste. And I pull Wait. in, we kick it, we're drinking all night, we're having fun, we're making like music on his computer and shit. I think I still have the... <laughs> it is a Popoza situation for sure. Right now we're going to cut to the track that I recorded with him. You really? Um, it? We have yeah, it? Yeah, I have it for sure. Oh my gosh. And oh my gosh! This is huge. Homies pass out, it's getting late, it's like four in the morning and he, I, I think if you, if you saw the Cribs episode, he had a bar with like a Starbucks in his house, right? And oh, he had this, he had I a Jägermeister, like a uh, Jägermeister dispenser in his crib. And he like lined up a bunch of shots and it's four in the morning. I have to be at work in uh, Beverly Hills at 10 a.m. Hey. And he was like, he, he was like, <laughs> let's do this. And I go, Oh man, I don't know if I can do that. I got to be at work in like six hours. And he's and like he, pussy, and you're like, no, I'm it. cool. <laughs> I wish he said pussy because then I would have been like, all right, fuck it. He just goes, all right, I'm gonna go to bed. <laughs> <laughs> and he about faces, leaves the shots there, and passes. Goes like to his bedroom, leaving me to like sleep. I don't know where. Uh, I think I slept on this like big ass couch, like in a couch. Uh-huh. Room that he had. I wake up super late, <laughs> grab some Taco room. Bell gorditas on the way in, what? get there wearing the same shit I wore the day before. And I'm like, yep. they're like, what's going on? I go, I mean, I was at Tommy Lee's house as if that would be like, oh, cool. <laughs> and they were like, so you, what? And yeah. then, <laughs> like, fuck off. And they were like, this can't happen again. And then maybe, uh, <laughs> maybe a month later, I went home for like Christmas and they were like we need you back the day after Christmas and I was like all right no doubt and then my parents booked my flight back then because I had no money and they didn't book it to get back in time and I just didn't have the balls to be like hey you got to like take the charge and flip it so I can get back to work and I just called then it was like I'm stuck in Chicago I can't come and then when I got back they were like hey um you're done here. You're toast. You're we don't like, want you around the... That seems uh, about right. Let me call Tommy Lee. Nope, he's not returning calls. <laughs> Damn. Yeah. So you Damn, didn't get Tommy's man. number. You didn't get called back. What the hell? You lose. I, and after, like, soon after that, I met you guys. Wow. <laughs> and we became right your on. Motley crew. 
Oh. Hey, yes. There we are. Yes. There we are. Points. Give me points. Yes. yes. Points. Oh, yes. Man. Points. Yes. We are. You're points. Motley Crue. But like, yes. the, it, that's what's crazy about LA and Hollywood is that like you can be nobody yes, or, uh, at some fucking clothing store and then you have a friend who's like, I met Tommy Lee. We're going to party at his house all night. And you're like, what? Let me get in my <laughs> minivan, man. It's I'm fucking, almost there. It's fucking crazy. I'm about to minivan up the coast, baby. Yeah, it is It is really fun to be in your 20s and in L.A. and in Hollywood specifically. Yeah! And just Because you're, I feel like when you're younger, you're just more likely to go, yeah, well, we're going to go do this. We're going to go drive 45 minutes to go do this insane thing. Right. Yes, totally. You know, we're, we're going to go Hype ourselves up the whole way there and just yeah, get right. ready and then go. That's every road trip to Vegas, by the way. Like, it couldn't be more accurate in swingers when they're like, Vegas, baby, da da da, da. Dude, And yes. the drive is quite long. So, it like, is. you can't really stay hyped the whole time. Maybe it's three like hours. Four, four, three and a half, four hours, yeah. Is it upwards of four? If you hit traffic going in or coming back, it can be a fucking nightmare, especially yeah. if you're hungover trying to get back to L.A. I mean, you always you always hit traffic on the way back. It's terrible. The worst. Yo, I took a um, like a party bus for a bachelor party from L.A. to uh, Vegas, and we are raging, throwing it down, drinking, having a good time, whatever. Throw down. And then the last like. The last hour and a half, we stopped like three or four times for bathroom breaks. Because like, <laughs> everybody's fully loaded. And we're like, yo, no, I got to pull over. And people are like, all right, fuck it, man. We'll pull over. And then 20 minutes later, they're like, all right, I got to pull over now. I should have got out. I should have got out. It was a <laughs> Sorry. shit show. Uh, I should have got so out with the last one. Sorry about that. <laughs> <laughs> Just tons of bathroom breaks. Sorry, man. <laughs> gotta piss yeah. out that hey, red. Uh, <laughs> it was great. <laughs> you gotta piss out all that Red Bull. That's it. Red Bull vodka. You gotta piss out that entire <laughs> uh, saxophone thing from Circus Circus. Oh yeah, man. Damn. Those are the coolest drinks, by by the way. Those huge saxophones filled with just what booze do they put in? Whatever you want. Just sugar. Mystery. It's sugar like margaritas, and, right? And old gin. Yeah. Uh, it's probably Everclear, right? That's what yes. they usually put in those it's a drinks. Gin margarita. Yeah, it's, it's disgusting. Yes. <laughs> I remember coming back from Vegas with Kyle in his Ford Focus. And yeah, baby. Uh, nice. We mm -hmm. uh <laughs> I remember you had a one of those little uh coffees. Those remember those little <laughs> yeah, Starbucks yeah. coffees that you could buy the at fraps. the convenience store? Yeah, a little yeah. frappuccino until we realized they're like four hundred calories a pop and me and you used to just like pound <laughs> like, those little yeah. glass four bottle five. ones. Yeah. Yeah, the glass uh, bottles. We used to just pound like three or four of those to, to get hyped up and, and then you start to you get a little older and like, why can't I lose weight? And then you're like, Oh, I drink eight hundred calories in Ooh. Starbucks frappuccino. <laughs> uh, but Nuacek goes to shake it and he had already like popped the cap and then goes to shake it and we both just got hosed. And this is within the first 20 minutes of the drive. Yeah. We're yeah. just hosed with... <laughs> <laughs> so no, I just had forgot I popped the top and, and then yeah. fucking shook it as hard as I could, <laughs> getting ready to pop the top, and it fucking painted the whole oh, interior the, of the car. Oh, like mm. the windshield, the inside of the windshield, the whole dash, <laughs> both of us, and everything. you're driving too, and we're yeah. driving, and it's and it's Sunday. <laughs> It's at hot like as fuck. Noon when everyone checks out and drives back to LA and it was hot as fuck. There was no AC in his car. We had to have nope. the windows rolled down. <laughs> it, and then like two hours in, the milk started to like curdle and start yeah. to stink. And we it, I was like, I might vomit. I like I might have to pull over and vom because it, it was like the milk started to like Bro. curdle in the heat. I was probably smoking ciggies at that time too. Oh yeah, you it were just, just smashing like cigs. Oh yeah, yeah God. Bro. milk was a bad <laughs> the, choice. <laughs> no, Coffee might have helped. Science. I don't know if I want to smell Kyle after a weekend in Vegas. The coffee, oh, yeah. bro. Yeah. I'll take the spoiled macchiato. <laughs> okay. I, I remember like overdrafting my account so many times on those trips where it would be like I'm fucking like I'm already eighty overdrafted that was, <laughs> and then yeah. it's like well i need more money i gotta go overdraft it before they stop me from oh my god that was like one of my uh favorite things to do would be like try to get us all hyped up to go do something and it was just 
To, it was just <laughs> operation when me, you, and Blake lived together. It would be like, I could probably get Blake on board, but then it'd take you so a little more coaxing in. You to would like fucking go- work me, and you'd yeah, always get just, me, but I would like hold out for a day. It would just be like, it, yeah, it'd be <laughs> like a full day of like, woo, Vegas, baby. Oh, my like, God. How no much way. fun is it? Blake, seriously, bro. Yeah. How much fun? Just <laughs> s- shot, talking shot, like shot, loud. Shot, yeah. shot, shot, this shot, is like shot. Ferris Bueller's Day Off. <laughs> Yeah. No. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> yeah, and then, by the way, the and then bug. we would just go, and we had no money, so we do the Vegas, the cheapest way you possibly can, which would be like we sit there on the nickel slots waiting for the woman to come around to give us free beers. Yes, that was such the move. And then it would just be us finding the cheapest place to drink up and down the strip and then just walking the strip. Now, in hindsight, I'm like, it seems kind of miserable, but we had a, a great time doing oh, it. We were young. Yeah, you don't know anybody. We were dumb. It. Well, remember our whole, like, shtick was, like, w- the party police. Didn't you guys, like, go just trying yeah. to get oh, people yeah. to, to, to turn party. up? Yeah, yeah we, we tried to just, get Adam. Remember, we tried to get you in saying that you were the newest member of SNL, the fucking oh, yeah. the Andy That's Bovine. Right. You haven't. Yeah. We were like, you didn't. You don't watch SNL. This is the guy. Like that was my job. And, yeah, and, you were- and then I'd be like, I don't know. Nah, I I don't want to. I don't want to pull that card. I don't fake, uh, fake catchphrases. Uh, right. mm-hmm. Yeah. Is this your sandwich? And you then after know, that, I'm the. Uh, is this your sandwich <laughs> guy? I don't know if you've seen that, but uh, that pretty popular. Funny. Go ahead, go ahead. In. <laughs> and then we did the party police, where party police was nothing except that we would like walk around in the lobbies and like show people our wallets and say, "We're the party police. Are you Can having I a good time? That? Yeah, you're not having enough fun. Party police. <laughs> Woo! What was the whole thing? Why did we do that? What was that? Because we're broke. Because we're having a great time, man. We're broke. And we're had, drinking 40s. <laughs> we had nothing else to do. We weren't allowed into the clubs. We weren't yeah. dressed nice enough. We probably spilled some uh, coffee Macchiato. all over us. Some milk Macchiato. products. Some milk <laughs> products on us. We, we, out of we, reeked, we were poor as shit, and we were, we were making our own fun. I do love the idea of, party, of, of the party police going up to someone who just, like, bet the house. Lost everything. Like, just yeah. lost everything. And you're like, hey, man, party police. Turn the frown upside yeah. down. It's like, and you want a party? I'll show you a party. <laughs> right, he's gonna go fucking faces of death. <laughs> yeah, I'm uh, gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. No, no. I'm gonna do it. <laughs> I think I landed on where we're gonna do the uh, bachelor party, guys. Oh, Ooh. oh, shit. bachelor in paradise. <laughs> On what? TV. On TV. Your backyard. Space station. Zoom. No. Where? Uh, space station? <laughs> space station. No, we're going to go to uh, the Lake of the oh Ozarks. Oh. And uh, yeah, I get to the see bros where, the, where the, the, the bros arcs, see where the mm-hmm. family lives. I rented us a dope house. I'll give you the dates and intel, uh, at, you know, off the pod, but it's it's going to be awesome. <laughs> and then that way, Big D give me can the address uh, kick, it, right kick now. it with us. Give me yeah. the and, uh, <laughs> And it's it's a wild place, so we'll have fun, and we'll have access to boats and jet skis and all that stuff. So mm. it'll get it'll get wet and wild. And that's gonna be rad. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Can we water ski or kneeboard? How about kneeboarding? We can kneeboard. We can water ski. I'm we can so do that wakeboard. thing where we can wakeboard. Yes, um, all the stuff. Have you stuff. ever kneeboarded? Yes. Has anybody ever kneeboarded? I think I have. I didn't love it. Yeah, because like, you're just hey, on your knees. The I whole should time? stand up and ski. I'd rather stand uh, up. Yeah. Yeah. Well, no, I feel you. But the kneeboard is sick, dude. You strap your knees in. You can bust three sixties and stuff. <laughs> ride backwards and shit. It's dope. That seems stupid to me, Carl. <laughs> Why? Because <laughs> you're on your knees. <laughs> Why? The whole time. Cold I blooded I, motherfucker. I, you're cold I, blooded I, motherfucker. No, I'm just saying. <laughs> You're my favorite stupid. actor, but you're not my favorite when it comes to water sports. Extreme, extreme sports? What's wrong with... Okay, you're so not my favorite sure. extreme sports guy. Okay? Sure. that's sure. It's not you. Just uh, because I said kneeboarding. I'm just saying... no. The, yeah. Well, didn't yes, help. that's one of the main reasons. It didn't help. Oh, my but God. Judgmental I'm just saying, much? Hey, I'm not going to be a groomzilla, but we're not doing that on my bachelor party. <laughs> okay? Yeah, oh, not my you. God. You're actually saying that I can't do that? Hey, it's not allowed... Are you actually? Are you literally? Are you literally actually telling me that I can't kneeboard on your? Hey, no, Kyle. It's figuratively. What the fuck do you think, man? Yeah, no I'm literally way. telling you. I'm telling you. Durst started to touch on this at the beginning of the pod, but I'm gonna go ahead and take the take it and run. You can't tell me what to do. Ooh. Yeah, I do. I think I did touch mm. on that. I think yeah. Durst <laughs> touched on that a little bit at the beginning of the pod with you I specifically. On that. Yeah, you know, I guess it's uh, it is my bachelor party though, so I hope you re- respect my rules. I can't enforce them. I'm not gonna like 
hurt hurt you, but oh, we got a groomzilla. I do like the idea <laughs> of only letting. I do like the idea of only letting uh, Kyle Niebuhr. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. And we all watch. Thank and we go, no, no, no. This is what you wanted. You wanted Niebuhr. Yeah, and the rest of us. It's a whole different setup. We it like takes a long time. The rest of us are just like, ah, we just want yeah. to tube or do something mm-hmm. fun that we can all do. But you no, know, Kyle, I'll just I'm so hey guys, fat. I'm hey just guys, gonna basically drag stop. under the water. <laughs> I just, stop the bachelor party real quick. Everybody hey. stop the bachelor party. <laughs> yeah. We gotta hey, go Ky- knee boarding. Just Kyle. Just boarding. Kyle though. Nobody yeah, else. I, well, dude, then I get all the oh way out God. there and I get on and I realize I can't, it can't float me. And you put, start tugging me, and I just go underwater. <laughs> okay, and then we gotta go tubing. Uh, Adam, I'm you said tubing, to tube, got, yes. baby. That's probably the easiest water sport, right? No, your forearms light up. Lake of the Ozarks is uh, a real fun place. I think we're gonna have a, a good, good throwdown. I don't know it as well. Mm-hmm. I, I kind of wanted to pick a place that I knew a little better than this. Mm-hmm. Uh, but my family lives there and with everything that my dad's going through, I'm like, let's just make it easy and go there and uh, and then that way he'll get a party with us too. So I think it'll Hell be fun. Yeah. But it's, it is a really fun place. Absolutely. That's going to be yeah. a blast. Mm-hmm. Dope. That's going to be a good old time. When you guys oh, have, have gone baby. tubing behind mm. a boat before you play the game where you just try and shake them off. I mean, that's the whole game, right? Oh, yeah. My dad, it was it was Operation okay, Evil yeah. Much. Where you do the donut, you go like this, you do the macho man finger? Yes. It was Operation Try to uh, Kill Your Friends. Or like my dad, it was he was just trying to murder us. And also, it's so scary. I, I don't even know if I've done it really as an adult man. I, I remember, like, I think I might have been in my early 20s when I did it last. Yeah, last time I did it was 20s. And uh, it was terrifying because I, I grew up on boats. Like my dad's a fisherman, so we always had a boat. So... Mm-hmm. Uh, I, I did it like when I was real. You were a cruise carna- carnival cruise. I was a carnival cruise kid. <laughs> was a uh, I was my dad was the captain of a ship. <laughs> um, <laughs> no, so we always boated, and it was. I remember doing it when I'm like eight years old, and just being like, "This is the scariest shit." But you can't show your emotion. You can't show your a pussy, or else your uncles will make fun of you for the rest of your life. So right, yep. nothing worse than that. That was yeah. me and Blake on bicycles about a week ago, yeah. <laughs> just bombing hills. <laughs> it's the scariest shit on planet Earth. <laughs> yeah, they're like, what are you guys doing? Speed up! You have the like, motors, uh-huh. shit. Mm-mm. Didn't uh. have the tires. We were riding on slicks, as I said last week. We're on slicks. True that. True that. Wow. Oh, man. How big is the squad? I mean. It, we, we, we can talk about this later, but I, how big is the squad of the bachelor party? I 30? think... Uh, Four, 40 guys? No, I think probably about 20. Oh, yeah. yeah. Squad. And that is I think a dude a, fest. I think it's going to be a real sweaty dude fest. And that I'm, is a carnival of dudes. That is nice. Is, is, Chloe, is Chloe doing a bachelorette party? Give me a hell yeah! She is. She's going to do it in... Uh, Wine country, I believe. Oh, yeah. Nice. Yeah, yeah dude. So that'll, that'll be a little more classy than our debaucherous. What do we think about the ones where they do it together? Oh, yeah. That's what me and Marissa did. We did that. Yeah. It was fine. We almost <laughs> did that it just because we have, you know, basically all the same friends. So it would have been right. pretty fun. But I don't know. I kind of wanted just like a true bro yeah. down. Uh, and I think I think this will be a, a good place to do it. So That's my boy right there. Yeah, man. Mm-hmm. Good for you. Yeah, keep it. Seg- yeah, keep it true. Keep it true. Mm-hmm. Keep I'm gonna it keep it true. Yeah, I'm gonna keep of, it true. Right. True of farting, to farting, beer. You know what we should do is uh, bring podcast <laughs> equipment, do a live from the bachelor party. Just yeah. sloppy Whoa. as hell. Kyle's the only that. one that can keep a sentence together. The rest of us is like, "Thank you." I tell you what, man. I'll tell you one thing. All right. All right. I would like that. That would be very fun. <laughs> I don't know how this would work. But if we could have like <laughs> the guys who are there, um, not us, but like whoever it is to kind of come on and tell a story or like say something about you that they appreciate or that they hate oh, that'd uh, be fun. <laughs> for the podcast, that could be tight. Just roast that'd be a fun. Nah, that'd be a fun bachelor party. Oh, let's do the roast of Adam Divine on oh, the Lake of the Ozarks. Ooh. That sounds yeah. fun. <laughs> it's the bro roast. The broast. <laughs> The bros. <laughs> the bros of Adam Divine. That's good. Lake Brozark. <laughs> yeah. 
I'll do the bro puns. Lake bros arc. Oh, Dang, God. I'm, I'm, I'm making t shirts. Lake bros arc? Yes, please. This is what a money else? idea. Uh, <laughs> for sure, I have to. We all have to wear sashes, and uh, I have to wear like a dumb crown. Or, sashes? You know how like bachelorette parties, well, they'll always wear like. Oh, yeah. Bachelorette. <laughs> right, yes. right. Party sashes. I'm into that. We're doing that, but for. Uh, but. We're not women. So you I think <laughs> on my bachelor party, science. we ran into a bachelorette party and Blake ended up wearing a veil with a bunch of dicks on it, right? Me? That's right. That sounds about right. That's I right. think I have that I picture. Think I brought it. We're in. cutting to it now. <laughs> I remember at your bachelor party where we there was that machine uh, in the bar that you blew into and it told you how. Uh, it was a breathalyzer at the bar. Right there, and we, we and we it was just operation. Who was the drunkest? And we were like, no, I swear, you are way drunker than me. This does not make sense. This does not make sense. I shouldn't be blowing higher than you. He's fucking falling down. You saw how he fell down earlier. <laughs> that was the best. Yeah, that was that was straight buffoonery. I just remember standing outside of our hojo, um, mm -hmm. eat, eating some cookies at like three in the morning, and. One at a time, stragglers would just come back. Like my brother just showed up out of the mist. Yeah. And like I don't even think he said anything to us. He just like walked past into the hotel. We're like, all right, all right get, get some sleep, man. And then my homie Adrian just showed up and was like, hey, I was looking for food. And we're like, everything's been closed for hours. <laughs> just walking dead. Just and I think Toof got like beat up one night. Toof got, oh, Toof got me back. I remember I could not find my way back. And Toof was yeah. like not making. And he wasn't, your one friend was arrested. He was on one. He cut the nipples off of his shirt. Yes. Oh, and yeah. When I saw him, he wasn't speaking. He was speaking in like, he was going like, <laughs> right, right, right. That's his thing. <laughs> and I was like, what the fuck? Failing? Do you know how to get back to the hotel? And he did, but he couldn't speak. Bernie Lomax, uh, and we'll, we'll keep his name it. and code, got arrested for like pissing on the back of a bar or something like that. Oh, fuck yeah. yeah. And Whoops. he got taken to the dr drunk tank. And I think and then we, he was like tweeting saying like free Bernie. Uh -huh. And then we all got in the Hojo airport yes. like, shuttle. Van. Yeah, shuttle, mm -hmm. and went to go pick him up with all those cookies. That's right. yeah. Wait, was it a hojo or a trouble tree? Tru it was a trouble tree. Trouble Thank tree. You, trouble yeah, tree. Yeah. At like you. six a.m., somehow we all like stayed up or something, and were able to somehow. like pick him up <laughs> somehow. Yeah, and I don't know uh, how. Wow, it's amazing. We all picked him up uh, like as soon as he was released from jail, and we were all chanting. I'm like, that's a good bachelor party. That's what I'm trying yeah. to do. Yeah, it was a good time. If anyone f wants to volunteer to be the one to get arrested, <laughs> someone, you know, I would love to see it. Yeah. yeah, that'd be great. Okay, yeah. noted. We'll see how it plays out. Yeah, we'll see how it plays out. But I feel like with 20 dudes, odds are high. They're good. Yeah. They're good. Yeah, I feel with the dude crew that we're rolling with that somebody's going to uh, do something dumb and get arrested. So mm -hmm. pretty excited about it. Down. I'm down. I don't know who's going to be there, but if, if a certain person's going to be there, I'm putting my money on them. I don't know if they'll be able to make it. We'll see. A okay. certain someone. Okay. His money's on a certain someone. Well, I don't know if they got the invite. I don't want to like. Oh yeah, don't blast. Put you What's on the, the code? Spot. Are you gonna yeah. code it up or? I'll nah. give you a. Can I give you a hint over the? Um, <laughs> Let's like, see over the airwaves. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, he, yeah. Is, he is invited. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Invited. So <laughs> yeah. Wine mouth is gonna get arrested yeah. for sure. Yeah. Wine mouth will will get arrested, and I. Alrighty then. I want that for him. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. Uh, <laughs> and guys, wow. any uh, any take backs, apologies, or epic slams, or uh, compliments? Mm. Well, oh, right out the gate, I have to apologize this to my Anders for just really going at you about the America's Funniest Videos theme song. You were 100% correct. I appreciate that, and I want to uh, apologize to uh, myself for knowing that theme song. Okay. You know, I feel like it's taking up space in my brain and I don't know my kids' birthdays. Kyle, what do you got? Uh, I would like to compliment too f for his lizard brain at three in the morning that time in Madison, Wisconsin, because I don't know that I would have made it back to the trouble tree without you, Toof. I hope you're doing well out there and uh Okie okay, okay, dokie. And his name's Alex now. Okay, Alex. Yeah, well he's a, uh he's a man. Toof, aka Alex, rock and roll, buddy. I hope you're rocking and rolling out there. Keep it real. He's doing it. And I would just like to uh, thank you guys for, uh, you know, just doing this podcast with us every week. And I feel like That's this is a great bonding moment for uh, the four of us. It is. Every yeah. week. Yeah. I it's like, like a bachelor party every week. This is like I'm, a bachelor. Because, you know, a lot of times we talk 
uh, when we're, but it's, it's work stuff, you know, yeah. and yep. we're just doing work stuff. And this is a fun way to also, <laughs> we're it, technically this I'm is work stuff, but it's also fun stuff, yeah. you know, yeah. and we're just bullshitting. So I actually consider it workaholics, but I don't know. Well, don't <laughs> see, that's where you can't <laughs> again. Don't say that. Uh, that's a good take back workaholics with uh, a huge ensemble cast. I would like to take a, a moment of appreciation for just the four of us and uh, and our friendship and power and perseverance. <laughs> is this take two? Mm-hmm. This is great. I like that. I would also like to take a moment for our friendship and our power and our perseverance and just respectfully uh, <laughs> appreciate us. Mm-hmm. I just did that. Though, so you right. Know. I just did take three. You know uh, what? I, I'll take this opportunity okay. to apologize to Tommy Lee. I know you're listening. Oh, yes. Yeah, he's listening. Uh, I let you down in a major way. I let myself down wow. in a major way. This is important. By uh, not doing w- any of those several Jägermeister shots you lined up at mm. four in the morning mm-hmm. when it was just the two of us. You remember. Um, that could have changed our ooh. whole course. Trajectory. Yeah. I, mean, I, I could have joined the band. You would have taken it. You would have been like, you're the new Nikki Six. Yeah. Yeah. I would have been Jersey Six. Jersey Six. Damn. <laughs> and if I could just apologize to Jeremy Piven, uh, just for not knowing my lines and not hitting my mark and just all around not a professional. Yeah. I'm so sorry, sir. Yeah, that's rough. And I'm I want to take back uh, saying that he seemed like kind of an asshole when I met him at the gym. Hey, you might have been busy. Things might have been on your mind. Uh, from one asshole to another, uh, it's copacetic, pal. <laughs> And I'd like to compliment him uh, just on how tight his six pack was and his whole chassis was. when I saw him. <laughs> was yeah, there's no denying it. He's got a chassis. Yeah, I don't know. I haven't seen him in I haven't seen him in person running running in Canyon with his shirt off in many years. But right. it was real proper. So big compliments to his past self. I feel like awesome. he um, has great body hair. Hot hot hot. Okay hot. okay. He's, okay. He's got good lines. Compliment to that. Compliment to the body hair. Yeah. Yeah. The happy trail. He's got a good happy trail. I want to be on you. <laughs> and and yes, and next pod, we will be touching upon happy trails. So yep. tune in next week. When the body hair just kind of forms and it kind of looks like when it goes straight down and kind of gives yeah. you abs, even when you don't really have abs, that's yeah. the right. perfect body hair that you yep. want. Yeah. Perfect Should we trail. Just- that's Happy. a big thank you to can, God. Can we admit? Can can we admit that Adam, <laughs> out of the four of us, Adam probably has the best body hair? Thank oh, you. I can admit that. I can admit that. Yep. Oh my yep. God. Yep. You do have like a full frontal um, yeah, I'm coverage. A, I'm a baby cub. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I yep. love and we're po- and we're posting I'm that a, picture. I'm a California now. sun bear. <laughs> Uh, Beautiful. Beautiful. I, I've recently trimmed it because my character <laughs> California sun bear. Uh, that's right. I'm a uh, my character Kelvin on the Righteous Gemstones. Uh, mm-hmm. he's like real shirtless this season and is flexing Ooh. a lot. And I feel like he wouldn't have body hair. He'd be like the kind of guy to like wax himself and shit. So mm. I, I am, um, I am shaving myself. Yes. Mm-hmm. Mm. Yeah. You're ca- the character you're playing for sure. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. You wouldn't have waxed your chest if you weren't doing I've, I've never done it. it. I've never done it before. I'm not, I'm not saying I, you waxed it. I didn't wax it. I've, I buzzed it. And it's not that this is a perfect excuse. Mm. It's I buzzed it. I'm still a little. Uh, you can ooh. see it's still there, but it's it's screenshot. Real, it's real tight. It's real tight. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, that looks good. And your your nipples look, at those look great. Nipples. Thank you. Your nipples mm-hmm. look great. I do have nice looking nipples. And that's right. another episode of <laughs> what? What are we doing? It is, it is. It is. important. It's important. Oh. Season eight. It's, it is <laughs> eighty nine <It's> <laughs> people. It's important. 